I am Dr. Mohan Rao, a practicing gynecologist with a special interest in the field of reproductive immunology. We have our own center, Dr. Rao's Center for Reproductive Immunology in Mumbai, and here we treat patients with repeated miscarriages, recurrent IVF failures, and unexplained infertility using immunomodulatory treatments or immunotherapy. Here I am going to focus on one interesting subject, use of immunomodulation or immunotherapy during pregnancy for patients who have repeated miscarriages. I would like to share an interesting case. One fine morning, I received a call from my professor. She said, Mohan, I have a patient with six unexplained miscarriages. And now she has come with early pregnancy. In previous pregnancies, everything has been tried, nothing has worked. So can we help this patient? This patient was a 35-year-old female with history of six miscarriages, all well in the first trimester, that is within first three months. Of those six miscarriages, in four cases, sonography had shown a sac and pregnancy, but or a fetal pole, but heartbeats were not there. In the other two pregnancies, the pregnancy test was positive, beta HCG was positive, but nothing was seen later on on sonography. So they were biochemical pregnancies. All the reports tests related to possible causes of miscarriages were normal and she was five weeks pregnant. In such patients where there are multiple miscarriages which are unexplained, there is always a possibility of immunological rejection of pregnancy or what is known as alloimmune rejection of pregnancy. This happens because of the immunological incompatibility between the mother and the fetus or pregnancy. Because of this incompatibility, there is an immunological imbalance in the mother's immune system. There is an imbalance between the pro-inflammatory mechanisms and anti-inflammatory mechanisms, what is known as the Th1, Th2 balance, which gets disturbed. So we explained to the couple about this possible cause of miscarriage. In fact, there was an entire family, uh, seven to eight people were there in the clinic, and we explained to them about this possible cause. We advised them to undergo investigations, the lymphocyte cross match, serum TNF alpha, the reports indicated that the couple will be benefited with use of lymphocyte immunization therapy or active immunomodulation. So we advised them to undergo lymphocyte immunization therapy. The family was a bit skeptical, but they agreed for the treatment. They said, we don't have any other option and we will go ahead with this. But the patient asked me only one question. Doctor, will my baby get heartbeats this time? We reassured the patient, started the treatment, sonography was planned after one week. After one week, I received a call from patient's husband. He was really excited. Doctor, we have done the sonography, baby's heartbeats are there. The sonography report indicated showed a six weeks healthy pregnancy with good growth and fetal heartbeats were present. The patient was also started with other immunomodulatory medications. These are the medicines which also alter the immunological response against, uh, against pregnancy, which is the rejection response which is altered. So these medicines, this, are, this is called as the passive immunomodulation. When these medicines are used alone, they may not have beneficial effect in these patients, but when they are combined with previous active immunomodulation using lymphocyte immunization therapy, then they help to maintain and enhance the beneficial effect of lymphocyte immunization therapy. So the patient's uh, pregnancy continued uh, normally. The sonography at three months was absolutely normal. The associated dual marker test indicated that pregnancy was genetically also normal. The sonography at 18 weeks showed some problem. It showed evidence of cervical incompetence. The cervix was short and there was funneling at the internal os. These indicated incompetent cervix and the patient had to undergo cervical circlage or what is known as cervical stitch. This might have occurred, so incompetence might have occurred because of the repeated dilatation and curettages, DNCs that the patient had undergone because of previous miscarriages. 
Further course of pregnancy was uneventful. And one fine morning, I received a call from patient's husband. Doctor, my wife delivered today. It was a normal delivery and we are blessed with a baby girl. We are really thankful for your help. I was relieved. So this patient had a problem. She had repeated miscarriages which were unexplained and the possible cause was immunological rejection of pregnancy. Most of the times when we see such patients, they are either not pregnant or they have just miscarried. But here and then we investigate those patients and if the reports indicate that they require immunotherapy or immunomodulation, we give lymphocyte immunization therapy and ask them to plan pregnancy after four weeks. But here, we treated this patient during pregnancy. We gave this therapy, lymphocyte immunization therapy during pregnancy for the first time. And she really did well. So after that, we started using lymphocyte immunization therapy for patients who presented with pregnancy with previous history of miscarriages. So far, we have treated almost eight patients. Interestingly, one patient also asked us, "Doctor, do you want me, uh, do you want me to uh, you, uh, you do you want me to abort and then you will uh, give me the, this therapy?" And so this made us think. Of these eight patients, seven pregnancies have done really well. In one case, we had to deliver the patient early because of the intrauterine growth retardation or IUGR, but the baby is fine. Interestingly, the two patients were referred to us with threatened abortion. They have bleeding, had bleeding in early pregnancy with history of multiple miscarriages in the past. The investigations indicated that immunotherapy is, will be beneficial and we treated them. Unfortunately, one of these two patients had at later on at 20 weeks a spontaneous abortion, but the other pregnancy has continued normally. In fact, recently there is one uh, study which is published in European Journal of uh, uh, European Journal of Obstetrics and Gynecology and Reproductive Biology by Sarno, and this study indicated that use of lymphocytes immunization therapy during pregnancy definitely enhances the success rate and it prevents miscarriages. There are many more studies which have shown beneficial effect of uh, uh, lymphocyte immunization therapy during pregnancy. Uh, compared to just give, uh, giving uh, before pregnancy and these studies have uh, also uh, confirmed the uh, treatment that we are giving during pregnancy. So in conclusion, I would like to say that in patients who have unexplained repeated miscarriages, it is very important to keep in mind immunological rejection of pregnancy as a possible cause and secondly, Use of lymphocyte immunization therapy during pregnancy for such patients can help to prevent miscarriages in subsequent pregnancies. Thank you.